wife and my So, you know, let's think about this, right? So a lot of times people will say, well, you know, it's, it's not burger season anymore. It's not summer. It's not spring. It's like, well, I disagree with that. It's football time. It's playoff times for baseball. Having these in your freezer are awesome. And by the way, just look how beautiful that burger is. And by the way, you want to lock this in on auto delivery? Why? Because now you've locked into the, you've locked in that price at what it says on the screen. And here's what you get. I love this because you, here's what you're seeing. This is the most crumbly burger you will ever see. There's a reason for it. See all those flavor pockets in there? We loosely packed it. So just like you, I mean, I'm sure you heard like what makes a perfect meatball. It's not handling it too much. It's not overpressing it. The same thing is with a burger. So when you gently press these together, we have state-of-the-art machinery that really delicately packs these burgers. And what you get is the flavor pocket. So look at that. So this does not look like a hockey puck, does it? It doesn't look like a dense burger because what's going to happen is, and I hate to do this, but I have to, is it just crumbles. Look at that. I'm not even, it just crumbles apart. That's going to happen in your mouth. That's going to happen in your mouth. And what you're going to love about this burger is it just literally has that juiciness. You can't dry these out. And certainly they're hard to keep together because they're so loosely packed. But that's the idea. A loosely packed burger, it just melts in your mouth. Okay, now we have choices, right? So we, now we, we, we love the burger, right? Now what do we do? So you could go with the eight count, which I have. I only have 150 of the eight, eight ounce. And then stock up and save. I only have six dozen. You're going to save $11. Yeah, that's like $6 a burger. Now, last time I checked, on a menu at a high-end bar, we'll say, or even a restaurant, an eight-ounce burger, okay, maybe there's some cheese on it, I don't know, $14. That's crazy, right? So have that experience at your house. Have that experience right in the own comfort of your house or maybe at a tailgate. Steak burgers? Again, you know, people don't realize, like, I, I say it so much that I, I take it for granted that this truly is a steak burger. This is that, that really rich burger that has all the steak trimmings in it that you want to do something nice for your family and friends. Because once they find out that this is a steak burger, they're going to ask a lot of questions. And you're going to tell them, well, yeah, you know, I got it, QVC and Kansas City Steak Company. They've been at QVC for over 20 years. They invented the burger game, right? And they won best burger. So they must be doing something right. And we have our foodie loyalties, like people love the burgers. But if you're new and you like a good burger, and the only way to get that good burger is to go out and buy it, get this burger. You'll be absolutely like, you'll be like, wow, this is great. So what, let's make a burger. Let's make it just a, like an easy uh, traditional burger. So I'm going to go with a little bit of cheese. Okay. My uh, fingers are a little bit. Okay, so we're here. Oh, no problem. Okay. Uh, so uh, my second camera had a little problem, but I'm going to show you right here that we're going to make a nice burger. So what I like to do is I like to put a little bit of ketchup on a little bit of cheese, a little bit of mustard, just like that. Okay. And then how about a little bit of lettuce? I like that crunch. Lately, I need crunch in my burger. I need like that crunch. Um, and then I'll go with a little bit of tomato and how about a little bit of pickle and then I just kind of do that and that is and what a lot of times people like to do because these are so big put that knife right in there just like that that's what they do at the steakhouse right again we're all trying to kind of duplicate the things that we just can't have right now and me I have small kids I can't I can't just go out and have a burger anytime I want right so what I a lot of times do is I'll have that experience in my house Again, this is the eight or 16 count. Oh, my burger fell down. That's okay. Um, if you go with the eight count, I have, I only have 125 left in the eight count. If you go with the 16 count, you, and we only have five dozen, and by the way, you're going to, Yeah, so um, again, you save $11 if you stock up and save with the 16 count. 
And what I hear is a lot of people are going with that um, auto delivery. You want to lock that in for 90 days because who doesn't like a burger all year round? And again, I can't tell you what the burger is going to cost next year. Uh, beef is fluctuates all the time. So I love that you can lock this in, have it every 90 days. And again, if you don't want the bun, treat this as a steak. I always say respect this burger because this burger is basically a steak. Why is it so great? Is because it has all those different cuts of meat in the steak, right? So think about that. It, it, it eats like a steak and it has all the steak in it. And again, like we talked about, the coarsely ground, that's so key is that gently pressing that patty creates flavor pot. So then when you bite into it, it just literally falls apart in your mouth and it'll be an experience that you, that you've, you haven't had or you may have had, but only in certain burger places, right? And if you can't access those, come here, right? Less than $7, less than $7 for one of these eight out half pound burger. Wow. Um, and again, we won the award this year, best burger. So if you haven't had the burger, trust your friends, trust your foodie friends at QVC and grab the eight count. But again, the eight count won't last long. And I want to make uh, one reference to, to this. And unfortunately, let's see if we can get a nice close-up of this. Okay. So, you know, again, I, I, I said this, I take it for granted that I have these in my freezer all the time. They're great. But what I didn't realize is when I took these out earlier, how, the color, right? This is like, like the redness. Look at all that white. That means that it's the perfect blend of fat. I mean, you see that there. It's right, the light taking. But look how red that is, how fresh that is, right? You can have these up to 12 months in your freezer, take them out, and they look like this. They're not going to be gray or anything like that. They're going to taste just like the day that we package you because that's the technology. We blast freeze these and they will last 12 months in your freezer, cook from frozen, or like I was saying before, if you want to thaw these out and make an unbelievable smash burger, go ahead at eight ounces. The burger, if you smash it, for this, probably like that big, which is fine, no problem. But I love that crust on the top and the bottom. And then we give you the seasoning to make that burger pop, right? So you get this too. Um, if you want the eight, eight ounce classic burger, only 100 remaining. Wow, okay. I only have four dozen in the 16 count, which is a stock of and save of $11. That's less than $7 and a burger, uh, I should say a half pound burger of steak. This is a steak burger, make no mistake. And again, juiciest burger you ever had because of all that marbling from all that steak. Everyone, I've had an unbelievable time. Oh, wow. Uh, when we come back, we got Jimmy Stovall coming up with Corky's, one of my favorites. So have fun, enjoy, have a great weekend, okay? I'll see everybody later.